about a month ago, I started having some performance issues with my mister. It didn't want to get going when I wanted to play with it. Uh, it didn't last as long as I was hoping for it to last. So today, we're going to get it straightened out. This isn't meant as a instructional video. This is just how I worked through this problem. And I figured I'd actually show you guys what was happening, uh, why my mister wasn't performing uh, up to snuff, let's say. So uh, once I started it up, everything appeared to be fine. But when I actually went to go play a game, we'll pick uh, uh, SNES game because it seems to have the biggest issues with the SNES. Uh, although NES has had a problem too. Well, a lot of the cores have had problems actually. And I think actually it's getting worse as it goes. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll load up a game. Uh, let's do Ninja Warriors. That's the game we're going to be talking about tonight on uh, Retro Slot. Uh, and what you see here is it just doesn't load anymore. Before what was happening is the games would load uh, but they would error out while I was playing them, but now it just won't start up at all. So what I did is I went to, let's reset this real quick. I went to the memory test. Uh, so uh, one of the guys who makes cores for this, uh, Jotego, has made a memory tester for the, uh, for the mister. Uh, and I'm gonna run that and I'll show you right away, it's gonna fail. Uh, so it should show green, uh, and then it'll quickly switch to red. Red is a failure of the memory. So uh, that's going to mess up YouTube a lot. So I'm just going to get out of this screen. Uh, and that's what I came to a conclusion, is that clearly I have bad memory. What I decided to do was order new memory. Now, the memory I have in here is only a year old, and that's a little bit concerning because... You know, I'd like the memory to last longer than a year. Uh, but in between when I bought the Mr. and now, uh, the memory module for Mr. has actually been upgraded for more compatibility. So the current memory module, module I have in here is version 2.5, and there's a newer version 2.9 that is now available and uh, improves compatibility, especially with uh, some of the CPS games, some of the Capcom ar arcade games that have come out over the last year. So I figure if I'm going to replace this, I might as well upgrade this. So I did a quick online search and what I found was Ultimate Mister out of Portugal is actually making these and selling them right now. Uh, unfortunately, it's out of Portugal for me, unfortunately. So that meant a long shipping time, but I finally have this thing. Uh, and we're going to install it and see if it fixes the problem. So let's do that now. All right, this should be pretty easy. There's just four screws to get into this Mr. Case. Your Mr. Case may vary if you are doing this as well, uh, but this should be a pretty easy swap out. We've got the new memory here from Ultimate Mr. Uh, and it's just a really tiny, let's see if I can get the camera to focus in on that. It's just a small memory mod module. And you can see there's writing on it. Uh, to tell you exactly where to put it. Uh, this side faces outward. It, this is super easy to do. I'm just hoping it's gonna work. I, and also you can see the version number, version 2.9. Hopefully that's picking up in the camera. So we're gonna install that. This should be pretty quick and easy. I've had a lot of fun with this mister uh, over the last, I don't know, I've had it for probably a year in some amount of months. And it's performed flawlessly up till now. I've been really happy with it. Uh, and I've especially been really happy with all the Mr. Jokes. Uh, thank you for naming it Mr. Uh, whoever named it. Because <laughs> that's been fantastic. <laughs> uh, I don't want to take out any of these USB devices here. Uh, because the Mr. seems to forget your device if you swap the ports that it's plugged into and you have to retrain it. So what I've got here is just a Wi-Fi kit for updating the Mr. Uh, this is an 8-bit do uh, wireless controller. I think this one is for my M30 controller. This one here. So this is a 2.4 uh, G1. And then this one, I believe, is for my arcade stick. Uh, the, also an 8 do arcade stick, which you've seen a lot on this channel. I love that arcade stick. And I use it a lot with the Mister because I really like playing the classic games uh, with an arcade stick. I think that's a lot of fun. 
Got a little switch here, which is making it difficult to take the case off from this angle. Uh, with this one, you just kind of kind of pry it out a little bit. Uh, and it should just pop off. And then you can get to the insides here. Uh, this one's got the Noctua fan upgrade. Uh, I'm missing one of the little rubber so, uh, kind of isolators here. Uh, but the memory is right here. It's super easy. Uh, it's right there. You can see the writing on it. This face is outward. And we're just going to pull that right out. Uh, so there's a couple of notches on each side. Uh, so you should be able to just kind of grab it with your fingers and yank it out. I'm having a little trouble and I just broke a nail. So I'm going to actually use a screwdriver to pry it out. And I'm just going to go put the screwdriver. See, so are you going to focus for me? There you go. I'm just going to put the screwdriver right here and kind of gently pry it out from both sides. Just real gent, gently, I don't want to break anything. I'm kind of using the plastic on the side as a lever point. Let's see if that was enough to get it. Yeah, a little bit more. Just a little bit tight in there. Looks like I just about got it now. There we go. All right, and that's out. That was super easy. So this old one is blue, the new one is black, and it says, let's see if we can get a focus there, this side faces outward, so that means outward toward the side. We're going to install that right in there, just push it in securely. All right, that should do it, and we're going to close this thing back up. So hopefully, not only will this fix the problem, but prevent some issues in the future. Um, in the past, when I've run the memory test from Jotago, I didn't have any problems with compatibility, but it seems like my memory has gone bad, which memory does do. Um, I don't really know what the cause of the failure was with the memory. And hopefully it's not an uh, issue that happens time and time again. Because the memory costs about, this module costs about 60 or $70, I believe, from Ultimate Mister. Plus shipping from Portugal. Plus the time it took just to wait for it to get here. And my Mister was op not operational, obviously, with the bad memory in it. All right, it's all put back together. Let's go hook it up and see if it worked. Back, we're back with the mister. All right, we've got this thing all hooked back up. Uh, hopefully this is just gonna work. I've got the uh, Apidu M30 controller here and we're gonna test out some games. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to the Super Nintendo and uh, check out Ninja Warrior. That's the game we're playing for Retro Slot this week uh, and I'm hoping to be able to actually play this. This is a good sign. Uh, a game actually started up right away. So we're going to play a little bit. And uh, hopefully no errors happen. Hopefully we can just play the game uh, as it's meant to be played. A Super Nintendo game on a Genesis controller. Good news, uh, it seems to be working perfectly. The mister is all straightened out. It's now performing as expected. Uh, no pills necessary. So that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.